Installing WordPress is very easy. So you go into your cPanel and I'm going to find WordPress. Just a quick tip first, if you've bought a domain or want to add a subdomain, make sure you do that first because you'll only be able to install WordPress on a domain or subdomain. So I'm going to create a new subdomain. I'll just call it Astra. And eMedia Coach is my domain. And you'll see why I did that in just a second. As I go back to my cPanel, I'll now click on WordPress. I will go to Install Now, and here is where I can select the domain or subdomain that I want to install WordPress on. So in this instance, it's called Astra. I recommend keeping directory blank. Um, I'll keep it as HTTP because I don't have a SSL certificate. If you don't know what that is, leave that out for the time being. That's all good. You can give your site a name, admin username and password. I recommend not using admin because that's very easy to hack. Give yourself a strong password as well and update the email address. I recommend leaving any default plugins selected. You can always remove them later if necessary. Go down and click install. And that'll take two or three minutes to install a fresh instance of WordPress onto your server. There we go, it's installed. You can now view your fresh instance at that URL that you selected. And importantly, to log in, go to the URL forward slash wp-admin to log in. So I'll show you that now. And there you have it. You are logged in to your fresh WordPress installation. By default, this is what your site might look like until you update the theme and other settings.